Hello everybody and welcome to another snapshot tutorial video on the BIX series, the brilliant BIX series that is. Today we're going to be looking at a feature that has been much anticipated and everybody has been waiting for and that is the launch of text to speech on both the brilliant BI 20 and 40X. In this video, we're going to walk through some of the new speech settings that are, are available within the options menu. So we'll be taking a look at how you can customize or alter your text to speech experience. I'm on the main menu. And the nice thing now in these snapshot tutorials videos is that we will have speech. So I'm going to show you the global command to toggle speech on or off or on or off and vice versa. It's always going to turn speech on or off from anywhere. And that command is going to be space with your previous thumb key. Your previous thumb key is the thumb key located all the way to the left on the front of your braille display. So I'm going to hold space and previous and then I'm going to let them both go. So we'll try that and I will turn speech on and be placed. Um, it, you will hear my focuses on the main menu. Speech on terminal. So we're focused on my terminal because that is the first option in the main menu, as you know, uh, if you're a brilliant BIX series user. I'm going to open the options menu by pressing O with space. So I'm going to press O with space to come into our options menu. User settings. And our first option here is user settings. Now, I have a new item here. There are a couple of new pieces, um, but the new item is called speech settings. So to quickly get there, I'm going to press the letter S as in speech. Speech settings. Going to press enter or a cursor router key and open this up. Speech. On. The first item here says speech on. Now this is going to be where uh, we can toggle our speech, but we just learned that global command. If you want to turn speech on or off here, you could certainly use a cursor router key and speech, speech will be off. toggled to off. And now if I press my spacebar next thumb key, I have no speech. So you can certainly toggle uh, this option with a cursor router key. I'm going to turn it back on. Speech on. And I get that on my braille display. I'm going to press my space bar and we're going to look at these various options that exist in this speech settings menu. Speak menu on. This option is for, for again, you will have a speak menu option. So it currently says speak menu and mine is turned on. Meaning, do you want all any or all of your menus to be voiced? If this option is off, maybe you want your editor or your Victor Reader app to read your content or your content to be read out loud and none of your menus to be spoken. So we allow you to toggle this if you would like to have your menus spoken. For instance, the menu we are in right now. If I turn this off, none of these options will be spoken. But if I go into a document, I could read my text and vice versa. And there's also um, a way to have a, just the content um, not read when your menus spoken. So you can do you can do this vice versa. Speak word under cursor on. This option relates to when you are editing. When you place your cursor, if this option is turned on, so it says speak word under cursor, if this is on, when you route your cursor into a word or, or place your cursor in a word, that word will be read out loud. If this is turned off, when you you know move your cursor around a document with cursor routing keys, it will not speak the word under your cursor. Speak display content after panning off. So this option says speak display content after panning. And this relates to the use of your inner thumb keys. If you just want to read continuously um, and don't want, you know, just, just want to, to read content in Braille, you would turn this off. If you want every time you press your inner right thumb key and pan your Braille forward to have that content spoken, um, this will certainly allow you to do so. So it, it this will come down to do you want every time if you are continuously reading in Braille, I'm not talking about the speak continuously G with space command, but more so when you're panning the Braille display, do you want that speech to, to correlate to what the Braille display is showing? Um, you can turn this on and do that. This could be very helpful if you are reading um, and you want your Braille display to follow or speech to follow the Braille display with exactly what is spoken. This will not be auto scrolling but it is going to allow you to have the words spoken um, as they are shown on the Braille display as you pan. Echo delete on. Now this option, uh, echo delete on, allows us to hear the characters we are deleting. So if I press backspace on a character, do I want to hear that character spoken aloud? Uh, if you turn this off, 
when you delete a character or, or you know, delete text, it will not be spoken. So this allows you to have that content spoken. I'm going to press my spacebar. Keyboard echo off. Now this here is a sort of a, a, a multi uh, option setting here. So keyboard echo, and this means as you type, what do you want to be spoken? If I press a cursor router key here, I will come into the options that I have here. So currently mine is set to off, but if you press a cursor router key or enter, off. you will be placed in a list of options. The first is off if I use my space bar. Words. This would echo only the words. So again, every time I press space, my words would be spoken. Characters. I can choose characters, meaning every character I type. Characters and words. Characters and words, meaning characters and when I press space, we'll announce the word. Close. Or off is the first option after close. Off. So again, you have four uh, choices here. I'm going to set mine to off. Keyboard echo, off. I'm going to press my space bar. Voice selection. And you have a voice selection area. This allows you to choose the voices on your device. Now, if you press a system voice cursor router Sharona. key, you will have two options. Your system voice by default, if you're in English, um, if you're set to English, will be Sharona. And you can add an additional voice to use, you know, if you if you have a secondary language profile, or maybe you want your menus read with one voice and your content voice to be separate, you can certainly do that. By default, you will have one voice on your unit. It will be Sharona. If you want to add an additional po voice, you would, um, you, you know, you can come in here and choose a different one. You have four choices. There are two English choices, Sharona or Will. You also have Rosa, if you'd like a Spanish voice, or Margot, if you would like a French voice. Those are the four options for voices at the release of this TTS implementation. So again, Sharona, Will, Rosa, or Margot. You can have two voices on your unit simultaneously. So again, you'll have your system voice, and then you will also have additional voice, Will. An additional voice that you can configure. When you do choose to add a secondary voice or, or switch voices, um, and, you know, or bring another voice in, you will need to reboot your unit. So that is important. But you can have two voices on the device simultaneously. This is very helpful if maybe you are in a Spanish class and you want to quickly switch over to a Spanish profile that contains Rosa uh, to read your content out loud with the Spanish TTS or Margot with the French TTS, but remain with Sharona or Will speaking your, your menus and your, your sort of primary um, language profile content. Again, when you're done, you can just activate close. Close. Voice selection. With a cursor router key or by pressing enter. And I can just come back to the main menu or I can close the options menu again by pressing C to find close. Close. And pressing enter. Speech settings. Change language. So close. We can just continue to hit close if we want or we can just come back to the main menu. Either way. Again, this has been a snapshot tutorial video on the speech settings menu. And we're thrilled to have TTS live on the Brilliant BI20 and BI40X. Thank you, friends.